What's up guys, Karu here and this is week two of coaching on the ATP Tour. We made our first quarterfinal and lost a tough battle to number 12 in the world, Cameron Nori. But before we talk about that match, let's see how we got here. If you are new to My Tennis HQ, we do tennis lessons, racket reviews, practices with pro players, and tennis content you won't find anywhere else. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. Last week after that tough battle with Gasquet, Marcos lost in three to Alexei Popirin. Honestly, I don't have a lot to report from that match. Marcos played really well, dominated the points from the baseline, but Popirin served so well. Marcos had very few chances to break. And aside from the poor returning, it was a very positive week in Adelaide, but it was time to move to tournament number two, Auckland. The trip to Auckland was honestly pretty long. We arrived late at night and we were welcomed by what would be the biggest challenge of the week, rain. All right, so we're here in Auckland. We've been here for a few days, haven't filmed much because uh, it's been like kind of long days practicing. The weather, as you can see, has not been great. Uh, today's match day, Marcos actually plays a lucky loser. Um, but that doesn't mean it's an easy match. He's already lost to that guy once. And given the time crunch of this tournament, there's a Grand Slam next week. They're, they cannot afford, you know, skipping days. So I think we're going to be moved indoors. Uh, we got to be ready to play indoors today. We actually hit indoors yesterday just to get a feel for it. I mean, Marcos was supposed to play first on, but uh, I don't know how what the schedule is going to say now, but it's going to be a long day of waiting on courts, just like in any other tournament. Uh, until we get our opportunity to go out and play indoors. So I'm uh, getting ready for that. We're gonna head to the courts in like about 30 minutes, I think. So we'll see you there. Whew. Another day, another three set battle with Mr. Marcos Giron. <laughs> another seven five in the third. Uh, this week is gonna be tough. We went, had to play indoors today, like I said earlier. Um, and it's completely different condition. It's like going and playing on a new core uh, than we've been used to. And this stuff happens on the ATP tour as well. Like we have, a, you know, Australian Open next week, so there's no time to waste here. Um, but we got it. Uh, could have been, you know, could have been done sooner. Uh, it just seems like to be a, a little bit of a theme of what, what we're doing this uh, this week. But we got the win. Uh, there's some definitely some positives, and I think. Man, this this week, this week's vlog is gonna have to be run and gun. But yeah, once the matches like start and you're winning and they're back to back, it becomes kind of like Groundhog Day, where it's like you finish the match, you get stretched, you take care of everything you need to take care, of, get dinner, you know, get go to bed early, get ready for the next match. All of a sudden, honestly, I'm gonna blink and I'm gonna be on the side of the court stressed out again. So <laughs> honestly, we'll pick it up tomorrow, but probably at the same time after the match. Round two, we face another American, one of our buddies here on tour, JJ Wolf. After round one, Marcus and I actually had a tough conversation about his attitude on court. His tennis has been great, but it felt like there was a little bit of anxiety to see immediate results. And I truly believe that's a dangerous place to be mentally. We want wins, we want results. That's what we're here for. But we need to be present on court, and enjoy each opportunity that we have to compete at this level. So really all I wanted to see was a bit more positivity out on the tennis court. And I think the talk worked. Marcos played his best match of the year so far in route to a 6-4, 6-4 win. And then it came the quarterfinals and our biggest challenge yet, Moraine. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Number 12 in the world, Cameron Nori, of course. On the day of the quarterfinals, the rain didn't seem like it would go away. So basically waiting for the match here. Um, at 12.25, court was dry, we're supposed to go at 12.45 and then rain again. Auckland is just not letting up today, so it's one of those days. So there was a chance we could move indoors, but the tournament organizers obviously wanted the match to be outdoors um, so we can have a packed stadium and obviously brings revenue to the tournament. We still went indoors to warm up just in case. And then finally, finally, the rain went away. And at 2.30, we finally got to play. This was honestly a great match. Marcos didn't play tactically a great first set, 
but we started making adjustments and slowly played our way into some competitive tennis. Playing Nori is always a physical chess match because Cam is an incredibly disciplined tactical player. But as the match went along, Marcos became more comfortable with the longer rallies and started to create a bit of doubt on Nori's head. We were able to hold serve well in the second set and we went to a tiebreaker and man it was a super high level tiebreaker if you can find the tiebreaker uh, for this match online I recommend you go watch it and Marcos was able to squeeze it out at the end and send it to a third. Then it came what I believe were the most pivotal five games of the match. It felt like Marcos had momentum starting with an easy hold and a few break chances. From here, Cam definitely stepped up his game uh, with a tough hold and then he earned a break, played an unreal game there, I believe at 1-0. Marcos immediately had chances to level the match uh, with a couple break points, but again, came, came up with the goods. And after that, I think we lost a little bit of momentum, got a little bit frustrated on court, and world-class players like Nori won't let this go unpunished. So that was it for this week here in Auckland. Again, really good match against Cam. I think we learned a lot from it. Um, and I think he actually gave Marcos a good amount of confidence that he can really uh, battle with this uh, with the top guys more often uh, without feeling like he needs to do so much all the time that his level is close to that, if not there. And this is the nature of the sport. We're not gonna win every match. Like I said earlier, I think if we focus so much on the results, um, it can, he can create a lot of tension, unnecessary tension, and, and then he doesn't play as free. Uh, but if we can just keep focusing on what we've been working on and the execution of everything, point by point on each point, uh, I think that gives us the better, uh, better chances of going deep in these tournaments. But now I'm just getting ready here to, to fly to Melbourne. Uh, draw came out last night, got a tough one, Medvedev. Uh, Marcus has been pretty unlucky at the Australian Open. Zverev two years ago, Last year was Nadal, this year uh, Medvedev, so tough, tough matches. But hey, we got to go in uh, with aggression and, and believing that we can win, that we can take it to the best guys in the world. It's an opportunity to, to show that to the world, uh, and that's how we're going to go by this. So off to Melbourne, off to the biggest event of this uh, leg of the year, Australian Open, actually one of my favorite tournaments. Uh, on the calendar so very excited to go to Australia and let me know if you, in the comments if you like this kind of style I usually at the end of the the weeks I journal just for myself to remember what happened and and hopefully be able to look back at all these weeks and things that I learned things that I like maybe you end up like kind of forgetting as as we go along uh, so I was thinking maybe as I do my journals I can use that uh, and do this sort of voiceover style video uh, and just kind of give you guys a recap of each week. So thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Use the links down below. It's, it really helps us. And I'll see you from the Australian Open.